Previously on Left Behind. Who would make me take the mark? Steve, please, I gotta ask you not to do this. I'm choosing death over pretending that Carpathia is divine or ruler over anything. Clear the troop force has to get out of there. We're gonna line up a convoy and power out of the parking garage? It's better than being here when the bomb drops. George, have you got GC on that plane? You're supposed to put down your weapon and walk this way. Oh, you of little faith, fear not. Based on The Remnant, the 10th book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 117 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. The GC just nuked Chicago. Oh, no. Did you get everyone out in time? Yeah. So we've lost no one. Not in Chicago. Steve Plank is no longer with us. Why? What happened? I feel like I had something to do with it. Akbar is hunting for me, and in the process, he wants all staff to have the mark. Steve didn't have hands or face, so he didn't have the mark. You couldn't get him out? I wanted to. He decided to take a stand. <sighs> wow. Buck and his family. They're in an underground bunker near San Diego. Chloe says Kenny has some new kids to play with. Leah and Hannah are living in Long Grove outside Chicago. A man named Whalem and his wife have taken them in. Mac? <laughs> Mac and Albie. Who knows where those two guys are? They're zigzagging all over the world, trading, supplying, doing whatever they can. And how about you, Chang? I'm good. Tell me the truth. Yeah. <laughs> well... Maybe it's more like... It's pretty lonely here. As far as I know, there's not another believer within miles, and it's not like I have any friends, or even could. I've seen this girl in the cafeteria a couple times. Malaysian, I think. She's hot. Chang! I'm serious. All this personality and charm, and I'm never going to get a chance to date. Well, little brother, we're all making sacrifices. I know. Besides, what's her forehead look like? Unbelievably gorgeous. Her mark's on her hand. <laughs> her mark? She has one of those. Well, young man, speaking on behalf of your parents... I know, I know, you asked. You'll be fine. Like you said, we're all making sacrifices. They're still searching for you? Akbar's on a crusade. Employees have been interrogated multiple times. For some reason, they can't find the mole. Apparently, he's extremely intelligent. And he better stay humble or he's going to get himself caught. I know, I know. It's not like I'm telling people about it. I can just see you trying to impress the Malaysian girl. Hey, want to hear a secret? Oh, yeah? So why is it that Ri Wu, who's supposed to make a drop in Guangzhou and fly right back to San Diego, is somehow still being kept busy over there, huh? He's a pilot. He's working. He took me to Nanjing, and then here. Did he take Cheng Chao, the GC officer, or Ming Toi Wong, the undercover believer? He saw my mark and asked. He knows who I am. He knows everything. <laughs> and from what I hear, he likes you. We're just working together. That's not what I hear. Keep in mind that until you locate Father, you will have to come to me for approval. <laughs> of course I will. Any leads on that, by the way? It's difficult getting people to trust me, even with the mark of the believer. An old woman in Nanjing told us about the underground church that had located here. I met a small group yesterday in an abandoned school. They're so afraid. Where are you looking next? I'm headed to the outer provinces later this morning. Hope you find them. Be careful, sis. You too, little brother. Yes, I know Wong. He known to be very royal to potentate. Short man. Much energy. Yes, that could be them. What can you tell me? Many surprised when he not take mark. That's him. It has to be. I am sorry, young one. He was discovered by GC without mark. No. They take him to center. <gasps> no. He died with honor. Oh, please, no. He was believer. Father... Your mother grieving, but okay. 
She went to small group further into mountains. And she is a believer too? Oh, yes. I take you to her. Walk behind me. She must see me before she see your pawn. All right. Miss Wong, you have visitor. What? Who will you visit here? Mother? Jishi, why do you come here? Mother! Chang? No, Mother. It's Ming. Ming? Oh, Ming? I'm so worried for you. I've been looking for you. Why, why do you dress like Jishi? Why do you dress like a man? It is necessary to travel. But I finally found you. Are you all right? Your father, he... I know. He was so brave. Before they take him away, he said to tell you he loved you. And he so proud of you. I know, Mother. I know. It's okay. I wish to have a time with him. Don't say that. I'm going to take you back with me. Back with you? To San Diego, in the States. Ming, this my home now. You stay with me. Uh, bring Chen. Uh, we family. Mother, I can't. Hmm? I'm still under the GC while I'm here. I must follow orders. That's why I'm dressed like this. You uh, arrest Bariva? No. I try to warn them of what's coming. Now it's not safe here. Please, you have to come with me. Doctor, you look troubled. I, I am incensed. Jews are, are being killed on every continent mm. in, in record numbers now. now. Have, you, have you seen the latest? One of Leon's guys raised a man from the dead, turned blood into water, and had him drink it. Charlatans. Yes, it is real power, but it is not the power of God. Uh, come with me, Rayford. I want you to meet a bit of good news. Meet? I'm right behind you. Ah, here she is. Miss Rice, this is the man I told you about. Miss Rice, uh, I know you. Don't I? You're a friend. No, 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 no. You've, you've been on television. Bernadette Rice reporting yes. from Petra, <laughs> but no longer for the GCCNN. It's a pleasure, Captain Steele. As well. I'll let her tell her story. I was at the Temple Mount for GCCNN the day Micah first emerged. A GC corporal pulled me away from a story I was doing and said we were in for a rare privilege. A high-ranking morale monitor was about to carry out an order from the potentate himself. When my cameraman and I got there, I saw this frail little old man. <laughs> Forgive me, Dr. <laughs> Rosenberg, but that's my recollection. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. The morale monitor was Lauren Hart, their new leader. He'd been ordered to execute Micah on the spot. Did you happen to see it, Captain Steele? No, but I heard all about it. Oh, then you know what happened. Hutt shot Micah several times from point-blank range, but nothing happened. I knew this man Micah had something, a supernatural protection of some sort. I watched from my hotel room, learned about the meeting at Masada, disguised myself, went there, and came here as part of the airlift. Only recently did I finally pray for salvation. So you were here when the bombs dropped? I was. Why would you wait after going through that? All I can say is that the enemy has a fierce hold over the mind until one surrenders it to God. Hmm. I appreciate hearing your story, Ms. Rice. You know, my son-in-law was there. There, the... yes. Dr. Rosenzweig told me. That's why he thought you might like to hear my account. Has Buck heard this yet? Not from me. I haven't spoken with him. Well, then, if you'll excuse me. I can get Riwu to fly it in next week when he's back from another trip to Guangzhou. Okay, that'll work. Hey, Mac, looks like I'm getting a transmission from Dad. I'll get back with you. Bye-bye. Come here, Kenny. Somebody's calling us. Hi, Dad. 
Say hi to Grandpa, sweetheart. Dad's good. Hey, buddy. Oh. It's good to see you. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's 20 months old tomorrow. Oh. I sure miss you, Kenny. Miss Big Boy. You're <laughs> a <laughs> big boy. <laughs> I want to play. Oh, you can go play. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Oh, see you soon, big guy. <laughs> Bye, Grandpa. Oh, you've got to come see him, Dad. Oh, I miss you guys all so much. We miss you, too. Hey, listen, where's Buck? Oh, he's with George and Ri Wu. He's flying a co-op run to the Midwest. Ah, I really wanted to tell him a story I heard today. How's Ri working out? Oh, he's great. He's taking another China trip in a few days. Think he's going to be able to talk Ming out of there this time? I doubt it. Her mother's pretty well dug in. If they can get out, you have room there in San Diego, right? Yeah, sure do. Ming, Mom, and things seem to be heating up between Ming and Ri, so we'll be seeing more of him on a regular basis, I guess. But yeah, he, he talks about her a lot. Seems preoccupied. Yeah, as if relationships weren't hard enough, now you got to add plagues. Well, come on now. The plagues haven't bothered you and Bug, have they? Oh, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Getting co-op business done without ships is killing me. And it's not like I can let it go during the commute home since, you know, the commute's about ten feet. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Hey, listen, has Tion said anything about the lifting of the plagues, or are these things permanent? The previous ones haven't been, but the blood's held the longest. Tion thinks the bold judgment on the lakes and rivers is imminent. That one, he knows, won't be permanent. How does he know that? Well, he says there's a later judgment. One of the ones that ushers in the Battle of Armageddon that calls for the drying up of the Euphrates. Oh, boy. Scripture clearly says it dries up its waters. So let me see if I got this straight. The good news is that before all the water disappears, it will at least be water? Y yeah, something like that. Chang Chao reporting, sir. Good. Our target is a half hour away. You ride in the van. Did I read the orders correctly? This is a Muslim enclave. Yes. They're living in caverns where the subway once ran. I wasn't aware there were holdouts other than Judahites and Jews. Ah, yes. They read the Koran, wear turbans, face where Mecca used to be when they pray. All right. Gather up. I need your attention. Here is our mission. These abandoned subway tunnels serve as the enemy hiding place. We will enter here, here, and here. Be prepared to shoot any unmarked on site, should they produce weapons. We do not anticipate resistance, but be prepared nonetheless. We will march them to the loyalty mark application site here, about six blocks away. They will be detained, spending the night making their decision. As the sun rises, these infidels will either bow the knee or be executed in full public view. According to our orders, even those who do accept the mark will be executed. Gather your gear. We depart in five minutes. Smitty, what are you doing up? Oh, I couldn't sleep. Oh, something bothering you? Here? Not in the least. It is as if I am already in heaven, my friend. I miss the flying, but I love all this teaching. Oh, and the food. <laughs> Who would have guessed that the same meal three times a day would be something I look forward to? <laughs> Mac was by. You get a chance to see him? Of course. He and Alby always look me up when they get here, tease me about getting fat on the manna, and want to know when I will get a real job. <laughs> I presume the day will come when I get to fly again. I look forward to it. So do I. What a thing to experience. The flight here when the GC fired right through our craft? Mm -hmm. That was like living in the Bible days. Like Daniel in the den of the lions. I could see the missiles coming, and I knew we were in the way, yet they passed right through. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what the GC thinks when they see the same thing happening almost every day. We have God to support the big creator of all things. We have their gods in custody. The meeting is just ahead in the tunnel. When we reach them, hold until I proceed. We believe he will reveal the Quran to our prophet so he could guide us to justice and truth. We know that the very word Islam means to submit. And those of us who submit to God, repenting of our sins, gain paradise in the By end. By order of the global community and the risen potentate himself. Wait. This meeting is not over yet. Yes, it is. By order of... Silence. My name is Christopher. My co-workers are Nahum and Caleb. Fear God and give glory to him, 
for the hour of his judgment has come. Babylon shall fall. That great city has been a cauldron of false hope. The Lord will have his revenge. If any man worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or in his hand, that one shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. The smoke of his torment ascends forever and ever, and he will have no rest day or night. Where are you going? Stop! Chang, bring those who are lagging behind to the center. We will proceed up the stairs. Now! It is not yet their time. All of you! Those who hesitate, pray to the Lord God. He wants you to be saved. No! These will come when it is their time. You will now be processed under the authority of global community potentate Nikolai Karpatia. How many of you will take the mark of loyalty? <laughs> Only half of you. And the rest are choosing the guillotine? Resist the temptation to choose the guillotine without choosing Christ the Messiah. You will die in vain. We will die for Allah! You will die all the same. As for you three, in five seconds, we will open fire on you. <laughs> Sir, if I... Stand back! Prepare your weapon. Peacekeepers, open fire! Do not fear, dear sister. God is with you. Be encouraged. Be of good cheer. Your Father in heaven looks upon you with pleasure, and you will not see death before his Son returns again. Uh, I thank you. But my mother... Neither will your mother see death before the glorious appearing of the King of Kings. But you will be separated soon. You will return to your friends, not all of whom will remain on this earth to the end. And now, may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus make you perfect in every good work to do His will through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Captain. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I, I was uh, helping unload the supplies. Listen, Smitty, uh, I don't know what the next couple of years holds for me, and I don't know if I'll get a chance to bump into you anywhere so so, uh, they, they said the, they want to be wheels up in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm not wild about goodbyes either. Uh, Dr. Rosenzweig and Dr. Ben Judah are both in teaching session. Yeah, that's all right. We had a great prayer meeting last night. I saw him again over morning manna. Uh, how about that, huh? <laughs> Tomorrow you will have to find your own food. Uh, hope I remember how. <laughs> <laughs> Smitty, I can't tell you how being here is just... Uh, this is God. In your face, every single day, miracle after miracle. It's, it's been amazing. God is outside Petra, too, you know. I know. But what I'm saying is, don't lose sight of what this place represents. God's daily, direct hand of intervention. Remember that. I will. I just wish it would sink in with some of the others here. Yeah. All this, and they're, they're still unbelievers. And now the complaining is picking up and people getting on each other's nerves. Put you right in the middle of the story of Moses. The elders are concerned about rumors of miracle workers in the Negev. That's not far away. They've also heard that the false prophet plans to challenge Dr. Bin Judah to a televised debate. Fortunato? <laughs> They'd never let Leon come here, would they? I don't think so. Perhaps one camera here and another in New Babylon. Something to look forward to. Oh, indeed. Well... You don't want to delay the flight. No. Uh, no, I don't. Take care of yourself. Will do. I hope to see you soon, Captain. You too, Smitty. They just disappeared? It's thin air, and the peacekeepers acted like they didn't know anything had happened. But it was the greatest thing. 
At least 25 of the prisoners had the mark of the believer. Incredible. What did Mother think of the prediction about you two? I didn't tell her. She insisted I leave, so I jumped a co-op flight yesterday, and I'm back in San Diego. What's it like there? Wonderful. I got rid of that uniform, and my hair's growing back out. <laughs> and you're with Ree? Ree who? Uh-huh. As the man of the family, you know all of this will have to be cleared through me. Yeah, and as your older sister, I can still put you in a headlock anytime I need to. Bully. But you hooked up? Hooked up? It's safe to say we're an item. Of course, he's never here, so it's difficult. Has he kissed you? Chang! Come on! You don't want me dating that Malaysian girl. I have to live vicariously through you. That's sick, Chang. That's my life. So, no lip lock. I didn't say that. <laughs> and now we're getting somewhere. It was an innocent kiss goodbye before his last run, and an innocent, though quite meaningful, kiss hello when he returned. I see. It was in front of other people, Chang. Don't get carried away. Promise me one thing. What? Don't plan the wedding until after I get out of here. Goodbye, Chang. Yeah, pardon me. I'd like to apply for a job. Dad! I understand the co-op needs pilots. Oh, Dad, it's great to <laughs> oh, see you. It's great to see you, too, oh. hon. I have missed you so much. Oh. Oh, no problems getting back? No, no, just the usual. Missile through the fuselage outside Petra. Other than that, no problems. Kenny's with the Sebastians. Did Buck go to get him? Yeah, he went off to go find him after he dropped me off. And I must confess, it was a toss-up. I, I couldn't decide whether to come in and see my daughter or mm. tag along with Buck to see my grandson. Dad, <laughs> thanks a lot. Remember, without me, you wouldn't have a grandson. Yeah, well, if I knew grandkids were such a hoot, I'd have skipped kids altogether. Yeah, great, Dad. You've been reduced to a bumper stick. <laughs> it is so good to be. Uh, well, I guess we're going to call this home. Yeah, for a while, at least. <sighs> How are you, sweetie? I'm exhausted, but mm. fine. The co op gets more challenging every day, and we've got our own little tornado demonstrating what the terrible twos are all about. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? Well, he'll take it out of you. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. Well, Buck should get dragged in by him any minute now. Well, bring it on. Yeah, you say that now. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Despite the long flight, I'm very rested. What can I do to take the heat off you a little? Really? Yeah, let's go. Oh, Dad, that would be great. Give me an assignment. Okay. Uh, one of our biggest trades ever could happen in three months, but it has to be done by air, and we need a larger-than-normal crew. Hmm. How about you head it up on the western side, and Mac will run things from the east? Not big, huh? I'm all ears. You know how water has become as valuable as wheat? Sure. Well, our Argentine friends are willing to prove it. We got a contingent run by Luis Arturo on the Chico River, and they've harvested thousands of bushels of wheat. What do they need? Water. Ah. The Chico's getting more polluted all the time. They suspect it could be the GC. So they've got wheat. Who's got water? Well, the most unlikely place. Probably the biggest underground church outside of America. Bahari's group at the Rehan Dam. India? Yep. Albie and Mac are going to pick up Abdullah and bring Bahari with them. And I'd like you to choose three other guys from the States. Well, George from here, if you can spare him. Well, we got time to work around his schedule, sure. And I'd look first to Whalem for a plane that mm -hmm. big. If he's got one, he ought to bring it here to pick us up. Sounds good. And I guess we throw Buck into the mix. Well, and... not including Buck this time. Why is that? Well, I don't think he has the time to take away from his writing. Uh, his writing? Now, don't look at me that way. It's just a feeling. Uh, this is a doomed mission. It's a big mission. That's all. Not doomed big. <laughs> Got it. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is based in part on the book The Remnant by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Adapted for radio by Chris Fabry. Music by Steve Wick. Sound design by Glenn West. Directed and produced by Todd Bastide. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.